Hi, in this video we are going to be looking at the expenses system options. This is one of those required tasks for configuring expenses. And this option controls various processes in the expense application. To get to this page, we need to go into setup and maintenance. Go to all tasks list, go down, my enterprise, setup and maintenance. Select financial, then go down, select expenses, and then the task is manage expense system options. You are seeing here three types, our user options for expense, our corporate options for expense report, and our processing options for expense report. These are the settings that we have got for all business units. But if I scroll down, you can see that we have specific operating units here. So you can set them for all business units. And then if you want to set something different for a specific business unit, you can. And it will override what you have set here for all business units. Now what I'm going to do actually is go into one of the business units because then I can show you the different choices you get for the drop downs. So let me come into the MSA business unit. You can see we have got the three tabs here for user options for expense report, corporate options, processing options. Let's start by user options. First one is enabled payment method. This controls whether the users can enable reimbursement payment method in their expense reports. If you want them to do that, then you set it to yes. You could change it to no for your specific business unit if you want it to. Another option is allow reimbursement currency setting. If you choose yes, what does that mean? There will be a choice of reimbursement currencies during the expense entry. But if you want to be able for them to be able to pick a currency to be reimbursed and you change it to yes. After that, allowed currency. You can pick the currencies that you want to appear in the list of values for them to be able to choose. Now it says that, that there the default selections allow all currency, but you can limit the currencies that they can pick for being reimbursed in. What about enable attachment? This controls whether you want to enable attachment for your expenses. And you can choose no, you could choose attachment are allowed at the header only or both header and lines or you can say that it is required at the line so this allows employees to attach receipts and supporting documents to an expense report and even to an approved expense report even after expenses are paid and it helps employees comply with government regulations about providing adequate proof of employee expenses see so you can say where you would like them to attach their receipts etc etc allow override approval the choice is yes or no and this is if it's set to yes it will allow the users to pick an overriding approval when they are entering an expense rep which can be useful if your manager is on holiday or something and you want to send it off to somebody else to get approved. Enabling traveling 
most of these options are yes or no this one again is yes or no and if you say yes we have this option that you can integrate with a travel partner and to receive any itinerary data from your travel partner you have to enable the travel integration and to do this you would select yes here and this also controls whether you can see the travel tab in the expenses work area so basically you are switching on the travel functionality and you see the tab in the expenses work area enable recurring expenses yes or no again this is where we can mark expenses as recurring and when we are creating an expense item we mark it is recurring it might be a monthly phone bill so you don't want to have to enter each month you mark it monthly recurring and then once you have added to an expense report it creates the one for the following months as well so that you don't have to keep going in and entering the item it doesn't create the report you still have to go in and add it to a report but it does allow you to mark expense as recurring allow passport storage yes or no to allow new passport storage in your mobile application do you want it if you are using a mobile application to enter expenses do you want to store the password on that mobile device yes or no enable split allocations this allows you to select one or more lines to specify split allocations across maybe projects if you are using projects or it could be general ledger accounts it could be maybe you have you could have the option to do either so it could be projects and general ledger accounts you can enter percent or you can enter amounts across multiple projects or gl accounts by entering the split percentage you could do it at the header or the lines then we have enable oracle maps when you are entering the millage expenses if this is set to yes then you can use the oracle maps cloud service it allows you to put in a starting location and an ending location it puts it up in a graphical format on a map and then calculates the millage for you and then you add it to your expense report so those are the user options now our corporate options for spend rewards again it looks like we are using the setup from all business units but again i just want to show you the different choices that you get onto the drop down mostly it's yes and no but no not all yes or no first one enable default the report owner as TD. this is yes and no this controls if the report owner defaults in as an attendee so if you are entering an expense report that requires an attendee it will default you in there as an attendee if you have got this set the second option is enable expense location level this controls the locations where the expense was incurred and we use it in expenses to enforce corporate policies and identify applicable tax rate the application uses the location information which is stored centrally we have got the choice of setting it to all locations or you can choose set it to country and state or province display barcode and require project fields for project users so this one does what it says 
if you set it to yes the project fields for project users would be mandatory when they are completing their expenses the next one enabled script of its field these are those additional fields where you might want to capture additional information for your expenses and this controls whether you want to display this descriptive flex field in an expense report printable expense report format you can create printable expense format in PI publisher to meet your legal or expense reporting formatting requirements so if there is anything you need specifically for your particular business you can configure the template and then you would see it in here enable terms and agreement we have our corporate policy URL as well so enable terms and agreement this is where you would have to take that little tick box checkbox to say that you have read the company policies when you are entering your expenses this is for terms and agreement you can also have a link if you wish to your corporate policies so you can enter a URL for your terms and agreements page in here too and you can have between 1 and 240 characters for that particular URL we have enabled then corporate card transactions and age limit now you can use this to stop cash on the expense reports until transactions order the corporate card transaction older than this limit that you specify here are reported now if you say yes to this then you have to put a limit in here as well I am not going to change any of this I will just leave it enable notification for credit card charges yes or no and if you say yes to this then employees will receive email notification when new credit card charges arrive in the expense work area so it allows them then to submit these charges in a timely manner then our expense report number prefix you can have something to prefix your expense report and we are using the setup from all business unit but you could define a value specific to a business unit this is our corporate options for expense report then processing options for expense reports enable payment notifications if you wanted to send a notification out to an employee or it could be the credit card issuer if you are using credit cards if you want to send a notification out when they get paid then you set the options here so you have got the choice of credit card issuer and employee paid the card issuer is paid and the employee is paid or no you don't want to enable it enable automatic travel report creation now I mentioned that we have these travel integrations where you can book trips using a travel partner you can also create expense report automatically from those trips if you have the option enabled here enable report creation for users before card charge appear now does what it says really it's allowed expense report creation from trips for corporate card employees even if the card charges from the trip are not available in expenses then expense report audit approval 
This is controlling when an auditor can actually audit expenses. Is it after the manager is approved or can they do it in parallel with manager approval? If it's after manager approval, then they cannot do anything to the audit until the manager has approved it. If it's in parallel, then they can both work on the expenses at the same time. Processing days allow after termination. If an employee leaves the company, how many days after they have left can they still submit an expense report? Employee liability account, you can choose to use the setup for payables or you can define a specific account code combination that's specific to this business unit. An active employee grace period in days, this is to do with processing corporate card transactions for inactive employees. There is no prerequisites or setup required to do that, but based on the requirements of your organizations, you can specify a grace period which is used to determine the cutoff date for the transactions of those inactive employees to be processed. So, for example, if transactions are posted after the employee's inactive date, setting a grace period will ensure that these transactions aren't ignored from processing. As you see here, the default is zero, but of course you can change that. The last one is pay group for negative expense reward. If you are using credit cards, you can choose an option called company pay liability. So the company pays the card issuer for all incurred charges. So any personal expenses of the employee would then be deducted from their payroll or directly from their bank account as a negative payment request. So that would be like a negative expense reward so you can set up separate pay group for expense rewards and cash advance actually. And these distinct pay groups allow you to process any negative reimbursements separately and this pay group also prevents the negative payment requests from getting applied against positive payment requests and cash advance. I hope that now that you have got all of the options for user options, corporate options, and processing options for configuring expenses manage options. Appreciate your comments and your subscriptions. Thanks for watching.